Hi, and welcome to our fourth series of Spotlight On. Today, we've got Joanne Roach from Northern Training Academy. Hi, hi, so, Joe. The first, the first question, could you tell me a little bit about yourself and how you started off in travel? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm Joe Roach. Um, I'm Managing Director of Northern Training Academy, um, and we do apprenticeships for various ages. Um, when I was at school, I did my O-levels. I was that, I'm that old. Um, and I kind of reluctantly went on to do A-levels. I was never really academic. Uh, but <laughs> at the time, I was trying to, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So I, I did my A-levels, got my A-levels. Um, and then I was looking for an apprenticeship. At the time, it was called YTS, Youth Training Scheme, for those of you who are of similar age and remember that. <laughs> But at the time, it was only for 16, 17-year-olds. Um, so I went for an interview at Altham's Travel in Halifax, wanting um, this particular apprenticeship as a 19-year-old, but I was over the hill. So I thought, ah, okay, what do I do now? So I ended up going to New College Durham, doing a travel and tourism course. Uh, it was business and finance with travel and tourism options. Absolutely loved New College Durham. Um, best years of my life, I would say. So I, I, I didn't regret that, but I would have preferred the apprenticeship route, doing the training while I was earning money because I was always really skint as a student. Um, and I would have actually really liked that. Um, from there, I went up to Thomas Cook, worked my way up to, through Thomas Cook, but always had a bit of a hankering about the training, the development of people side. Um, so I sort of moved into lecturing in travel and then eventually set my own uh, training company up it originally as training for travel um, did loads for the travel industry while we were running that particular company uh, and now I'm heading up Northern Training Academy and still doing apprenticeships so yeah uh, long journey but very enjoyable and I can't really regret many of the steps other than not being having the job at Alton <laughs> Travel in Halifax but hey <laughs> no that's really good that's good and um there's a lot of different apprenticeships and they're available. Could you tell me a bit about them? Yeah, I think um, unlike the old YTS um, schemes, which were very much for 16 to 18 year olds um, at a push, nowadays the apprenticeships aren't just for 16 to 18 year olds, they're for anybody up to the age of 65 from 16 and across a huge, huge um, variety of different subjects. So yeah, there is one in travel, travel consultant, but across the travel and tourism industry, there's so many job roles and such disparate sort of careers that people can have in, in travel. There is an, a virtually endless supply of apprenticeship standards that will cover any situation. And also they're not just level two, which is GCSE O level equivalent. It goes right up to postgraduate level, level seven. Um, and a huge variety of different courses that people can do. So there's something for everybody, I would say, at whatever level they are. And it's not just for staff new to companies either. It, you can upskill your existing workforce. Um, and if you think, well, okay, we've got such and such doing this administration task, but actually they would need some more development in order to help them do the job better or to learn more about the job, that those are the ideal types of people. As long as you've got people who need to be developed, whether they're internal to you now or new into your organisation, the standards will work and the apprenticeships will work for you. Yeah, because a lot of people don't realise how many different apprenticeships there are, do they? That's it, yeah. That's really it's huge, it's endless. I, I couldn't even begin to tell you the number and I wouldn't even want to do that because I wouldn't want to just limit people. You know, if you wanted to talk to us about what apprenticeships are available and what might suit your organisation and your people, you know, we're more than willing to have those conversations. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. And I've just seen on the news about um, these new traineeships are coming out. Um, will you be having anything to do with them? Yeah, we've just been awarded um, quite a large contract. Um, it was quite a tough competition, actually, and we were uh, out of 400 odd providers who applied we we were one of them and there were apparently 200 contracts given so yeah we, we were really oh, pleased wow. and excited to be involved in traineeships because um the idea of them is that it's giving the 19 to 24 year olds uh, a chance because there's lots and lots of people who are unemployed made redundant displaced you know come out of uni come out of further education and haven't really got anything uh, to be job ready. So traineeships are designed, uh, they're a minimum of six week training with some work experience bolted on. 
employers don't pay for that and um, they're actually paid an incentive of thousand pound per person uh, to take on somebody to do a work placement for a minimum of two weeks over a 70 hour period um, and it's very much that we would give the um, training support the job skills the um, industry skills that they need um, so basically the young person is is then um, molded into a particular job role so that when they go to an employer and say if the employer thought oh this person is absolutely fantastic I really want to employ them they can then employ them either as an apprentice and continue their learning or just take them on in a vacancy if it doesn't need any development beyond the traineeship so it's some it's a brilliant opportunity for companies to get back on their feet without yeah the risk of taking on new staff who they might not be able to afford right now yeah, that's great, especially at this hard time now. That's that's great, really great for people, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's 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 a bit it's a win win because it means that the young people who have no opportunities at the moment, who are feeling real, you know, that people are feeling very very panicky because you know, for, through no fault of their own, they are without a job. Um, uh, but I do understand that employers are going to be very reluctant to employ new people because they may have had to let. A number of people go already through the COVID and it looks wrong if they're taking on new people I mean ourselves we've taken on new apprentices and new new employees and I know you know we're lucky we've not had to let anybody go touch wood but had we had yeah. to make redundancies it would have been a very hard um explanation that we would have had to have with the staff so I understand that from an employer perspective but I think the traineeships are going to be a vital lifeline for many many employers not just in the travel industry and tourism who have been ma majorly hit more so than most other industries and continue to be hit yeah um but the, you know it's a way of building back up your, your your company basically and getting back to the good old days and beyond hopefully yeah that's good and um, there's a lot of benefits to the employer who hires the apprentice apprentices that isn't there yeah, yeah. I think the main thing that you, that you have is that an employer can benefit from somebody being an apprentice, um, as well as the apprentice themselves, because they tend to get very motivated. We get a lot of feedback from learners where they love doing the apprenticeship because it gives them a focus. It gives them skills, abilities, knowledge that they knew that they probably had, but didn't know really how to express it. And so from an employer perspective, having more motivated staff, better skilled staff more knowledgeable staff has to be a good thing and the employer doesn't directly pay for the apprenticeship if they're a levy payer and i hope the companies who are levy payers will understand that they are then that levy pot pays for the apprenticeship training and it's used to fund that anybody who's not a levy payer who has a payroll of less than three million pounds per annum um, will benefit from the government putting in 95% of the cost. So there's a small cost, but it's negligible yeah. compared to the actual benefits that the employer would receive from that young, for that person aged 16 to 65. So just to reiterate, traineeships are for 19 to 24, but apprenticeships age is open from 16 onwards. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you've inspired a lot of people to hire apprentices and be an apprentice. So uh, oh, that's, that's great. great. Thank you, Joe. I think that's all my questions. Yeah, I would have loved to be an apprentice myself. Uh, I am currently doing an <laughs> apprenticeship program. I am upskilling myself too. Um, so I don't think you're ever too yeah. old or too experienced. No, to definitely not. Something new. You know, people who say that they know everything. Well, Tell me the lottery numbers for Friday and I'll believe you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks. Hello. Thanks very much. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.